Hi everyone, Dorota Palicka, International Nail Artist and Educator here. And today we are going to do some awesome blue jumper nails. Hello, we preview of them in here. I really like this look and I'm going to show you quite a few different uh, jumper types of nails. I hope you'll really enjoy watching it and you'll learn something new as well. So let's start. Want you to have a real look uh, when it is zoomed in because it looks absolutely beautiful and uh, the texture on it really really nice uh, wintery jumper and I love doing jumpers uh, for this time of the year we are going to use a 220 wave after wave color and I think it is just an awesome one for a winter I will be probably using a lot of it so I have just cleaned my tips and we are going to Paint this one just matte, um, just so it's not overdone. And then on those two, we will create this design so you'll have a chance to check it twice how it is done. Just going to clean it from underneath. I really love this color, like, it's so beautiful. I think in general I'm the fan of the pastel colors. And it has amazing coverage, like on the tips which we are going to paint the design, I will just paint a one coat. Um, And only on the index finger we will put two coats because there is no design to hide any imperfection in the color. Okay, so the first one is ready. And then we are going to use the matte top coat. So we just cover the entire chip in a matte. And I like this matte because it's a kind of like a velour uh, feel to it. Uh, so it is uh, feeling kind of uh, quite nice and soft. And I think like for those jumper designs, it's pretty cool. And then the last one. So when my tips are curing, we'll uh, mix the mixture. And I will give you some tips for it as well, like how to make the painting easier, guys. Just get the fluff. Okay. 
I should be cleaning my tips better. <clears throat> okay, on my mixing palette, we are going to take this color. So I'll just place a scoop of this color. And then also, so we can paint for longer without of gel polish spreading, we are going to add a drop of the clear acrylic powder in it. Like not too much, because then it will be too thick for painting. So just a tiny bit over it. If you find that you have added too much, just add a drop more of the uh, gel polish in there. Okay, and then the first tip is ready. I'm just going to give it a clean, like it doesn't have inhibition layer, it doesn't have a sticky layer. I just like to give it an extra clean in there. And then the design which we are going to paint it is like a jumper, I don't know, star, flower. It's a really common design for the jumpers. So what I'm going to do it is, you can see the consistency of the gel polish has changed. It is much thicker, uh, quite nice to paint with. Um, and uh, first of all, I'm going to find the center plate, the central piece. That will be my central piece somewhere here. I want here to have the nicest star. Okay, and then we are going to paint on the bottom like a rhombus shape. And you can see the consistency of the gel polish is kind of like almost dry. You can also straight away paint one on the top. It's a kind of design which you have to do it slowly. And because of it, I'm painting smaller first. And then if I need to, I can just add it a little bit more thickness to it. Okay, so we've got two painted, two rhombus. The next one you want to paint it just in here. But at the same time, you want to make sure you're able to squeeze a second one. One in there and one in there. Okay, so this way I've got my placement. And now I can start making it a rhombus shape. Don't worry about the texture which the acrylic powder gives you in your gel polish because this is going to be uh, hidden. Like when we sprinkle even more acrylic powder, it will all smooth out nicely. Okay, then another one. So again, I'm just painting those V shape. And another one. So this way I know I've got enough room to enter all the six arms and I can just perfect the shape.
Okay, so after we have painted the first one, the next one you want to paint is outside of it, like where the rhombus shape goes into the empty space. And I'm starting with this empty space and then I know the next one needs to go in here and I've got just a small part of it visible. Then my dot will be somewhere there. So I'm just ignoring this dot in there and I'm painting another one just in here. tiny one which is almost invisible and straight away I'm going to paint another one in here very therapeutic <laughs> Now I know that my dot is going to be here. And then another rhombus just there. This is a little bit more advanced kind of jumper design. But I really like the look of it. You could also just make a one, like uh, one star and then add some easier jumper design in there. Okay, we also need to add something on the top. So again, I'm just using the same technique, like I've got some empty space in here. Always start from those empty space because if you don't start from those empty space you wouldn't uh, know if you can squeeze it like a full or a half a look. And you can see it on my gel polish doesn't move. Uh, so this is an absolutely fantastic tip guys for you what else you could do it you could just paint a part of it sprinkle with acrylic cure it and then do the next part but definitely this is much easier okay now it's tricky so i need to think if i place on one arm here i might not be able to manage so i have to go at the angle in there leave it a bigger gap Otherwise, this arm would disturb me to squeeze the star. And I'm already stocked a little bit in here because my arm should be there. So I have no choice than just go like this. Okay, and then once I have painted it, it's so pretty. Uh, we need to give it those jumper look to it. So I'm picking up those clear acrylic powder again. And now we are going to sprinkle over it. 
give it really good sprinkle. I also love the fact, like, I don't know why, but it's changing the color to the darker, uh, which is so awesome, like, because um, then it stands out even more. So you can see it when it's zoomed in. And then let's cook it so I can show you what you have to do it um, at the end of it. I have also played with some other jumpers <laughs> and I cannot wait to show you some different ones as well. Uh, like different sets of the nails with the jumpers. Uh, I think it's such a cool, uh, such a cool designs like, you know, for, for this time of the year, definitely. Okay, when my other nail is cooking, I'm just going to quickly add those jumper here as well, just so we've got a full beautiful matching set. I'm not sure if there is any quicker way of uh, doing this design. I don't think so. Like, uh, it's pretty time consuming, I would say, but so nice and pretty. This one actually make, came out really ugly. <laughs> Let's wipe it. I don't like it. See, if you're scared that you have painted actually a really beautiful star. Uh, and the reason why I didn't like it, it was because I started from the top, not from the bottom. I got too excited. And uh, I think, I don't know if I'm doing something that's just the way, because it is easier to do it a certain way, not the other way. I mean, at least for me. Uh, so I do recommend it, guys, you start it from the bottom and then you do Again, start it where the dot is because it's easier. It's easier to achieve this look, definitely. Uh, again, when we're curing the gel polish, normally you would cure it in. Um, 30 seconds, but when I'm doing, or 60 seconds, depending on your lamp, when I'm doing a kind of designs where I do not apply the top coat over it, I give it always double cure. Like this way, I can make sure the product is going to stay on the client's nails, even if they will be doing dishes or some cleaning. Um, you know, we want them to be nice and durable through the entire month. And uh, in a case, uh, because there is no top coat, and this is a matte top coat uh, in here as well, uh, underneath, in case the nails get a bit shiny, what they could do is they could use a tiny bit of the acetone just to give it a um, good clean and wipe, or also the washing up liquid, the one you're using for the dishes, is really good to clean your matte top coat um, and get it it's really matte looking. Um, when we use some makeups, creams, uh, the matte top coat sometimes gets a little bit shiny. So if we clean them with the um, dishes soap, then the, the shine kind of um, disappear. Okay, then we've got empty space in here. another triangle there and feel free again to post uh, below in the comments what kind of designs would you like to see this winter um, obviously the most crazy time of the year has finished uh, which I'm really glad because uh, it had been so busy time for us like September October have been just crazy like constantly fully booked um, and we are getting into November and then after the Christmas madness is done, I will have a little bit more time. So I will be able to post a little bit more content on the YouTube channel, which I'm actually glad because I do love guys. Like I do really enjoy um, doing those videos for you. So feel free to put down some requests. OK, 
two and then one in here. I think you have to be really concentrated for this design to don't make a mistake. Like those kind of geometric designs, they always harder, at least for me. Like, uh, you know, when you're painting squiggles, like even the ones I've got on my hand now on this one hand, on this hand, you can make a mistake and nothing big really would happen. Uh, you know, like if you place the squiggle a little bit to the left or to the right, it doesn't matter. Now, when we're doing those geometrical designs, um, then it is really matter how you place them. Okay, and the last one, just a small triangle, and that's the next one finished. I actually love them, like they so, I don't know, not complicated, like so even the person which don't like to wear the nails over the top, I think they will really like it as well. Um, now the acrylic powder, when it gets dropped on the table, it's make your pots really slidey. <laughs> another sprinkle and then cook it but I'm not going to keep you bored with the cooking of the next tip I just show you what you have to do at the end so we've got this one and I will give it a clean again like even if it's just a plain matte top coat I like to give it this clean so we've got this finger coming up in there oh and those feel to them like is so nice Okay, and then those two beautiful ones. So what I need to do is take a brush. We've got those of the brushes. Give it a nice uh, rub, and it's already not having any inhibition layer. Uh, but I like to because there is inhibition layer, and we don't want to expose the product um, clients to uh, uncured products which are the inhibition layer. I'm just using a blue scrub, which is an acetone, and I'm just rubbing over it, and you can see it, it doesn't make the designs to come off. I'm just obviously removing any fluffy bits and pieces, uh, and the design is solid, like uh, nothing is going to make it come off, and it has those beautiful texture to it. Uh, so that's how you would achieve those uh, matte looks because you can also have a jumpers uh, with some uh, glitters and other textures. Actually, I don't have a jumper in here, but there's lots of them on, on the channel when I have used the sugar glitter over it. Uh, and that's quite nice uh, as well, but this is a completely uh, different look. So let me show you the full set which we have completed today. As I say, pretty simple. Uh, but really beautiful, like beautiful, like there is not much stuff going on in there, but so I'm sending you lots of glittery hugs and oh, it's so pretty, really pretty. Yeah, sending you lots of glittery hugs and bye for now. Let's zoom it at crazy. The cameraman shows me how oh, you've got something. That's it, gone. I like this texture. Look at this texture, guys. This is awesome. Oh, I love it so much. A micro, zoom in. Okay, bye-bye. Mm -hmm.